Hello everyone. Now we will jump on to our next topic. Our next topic is loop statements. What are the various statements we can use in the loop? So in this topic, we will cover three loop statements, exit, continue, and check. But never consider that these statements are dedicated to one type of loop. These statements you can use in any type of loop. It can be do loop, it can be while loop. In the future, we will cover loop at internal table. So these are the common statements for each and every type of loop. And if you remember, out of these three statements, we already covered the exit statement. When we did the practical part of do loop, at that time, how we came out or how we exited from the do loop using the exit statement. So what is the purpose of exit? Exit is used to exit from the loop. I have not mentioned it is do loop, while loop or loop at internal table. So you can exit from any type of loop using the exit keyword and widely used statement. So whenever we want to exit from the loop, you can exit using exit keyword or exit statement. Now I will come on to continue statement. What is the meaning or what is the use of continue statement? It skip the current processing of the record and then process the next record in the loop statement. Whenever you will use continue, whenever continue will trigger the current processing, the current record, it will skip. It will skip the current processing of the record and control will again go to the next record in the loop statement. Many times people will confuse in this continue statement. Just understand what is continue. Whenever your continue will trigger, it will skip that particular record. It will skip the processing of that record and continue with the next record in the loop. So this is the way you can understand. It will skip the current processing of the record and continue to the next processing of the record. Many times people understand continue means it will continue the processing. No, this is not the case. What is the meaning of continue? It will skip the current processing of the record and it will continue with the next record. It will continue with the next processing of the record. We will see the practical then this will make more sense to you. Now, suppose we will go for this particular logic. Suppose I will comment this logic and I will suppose show you the output of first syntax of do. This is our output. 10 to 19 are coming in the output. Now, we will apply the continue statement and we will see how the output is changing. I will write if LV underscore input is equal to 14, continue. So whenever our input is 14, we are using a loop statement continue. It means what it will do. Whenever your input will reach 14, it will skip that current record and it will again jump to the loop. Previously, what is happening? Whenever this was not there, it is just doing the do loop 10 times. It is displaying, displaying, displaying. Now we put a specific condition. Whenever your input is 14, we do not want to go further. We want to skip the processing of the record and we want to jump on to the next processing of the record. Just see how it will work. 
for the best understanding i will show you in the debugging mode i put a breakpoint on the statement 10 11th number line i will go to desktop 3 most preferable desktop now as of now you all know that if i want to go from one line to another line i can do f6 and with the help of double click you can see the values here i will double click on lv underscore input as of now value is 10. i'm doing f6 i'm on 12th number line is is 10 is equal to 14 no 10 is not equal to 14. now it will print 10 10 plus 1 11. now again second iteration of the loop is 11 is equal to 14 no it will print 11. Now 11 plus 1, 12. Third iteration of the do loop is 12 is equal to 14? No. It will print 12. 12 plus 1, 13. Now, is 13 is equal to 14? No. This is fourth iteration of the loop. Now, now it will come on to fifth iteration of the loop. Is 14 is equal to 14? Yes, this if condition is true. So control will go inside this if condition. Now, is it executing continue? Yes. Now continue execute. Just see whenever continue will execute, it will not continue like this. It will again go to the do statement and process or continue the next record. So this is the most, most important point. People think continue means it will continue like this. No, but is the meaning of continue. It will skip the current processing and jump on to the next or uh, continue with the next processing of the record. Now you can see whenever continue will execute, it will not go further because it will skip the current processing of the record and control will again jump on to do statement. Now you can see continue execute and I again returned on to the do statement. Now we will go for next iteration. Now it is saying 14 is equal to 14. Yes, it will continue. Now 14 is equal to 14. Yes, it is continuing. Now 14 is equal to 14. It is continuing. See. As of now, it is continuing from here itself. So our counter is not increasing, but do loop continue 10 times. Now you can see it is simply, simply skipping. It is now the, our do loop finished because it executed 10 times. Now, if I will show the output, now you can see how output changed. Previously, everything is coming from 10 to 19. We put a condition whenever our input will reach 14, continue. It meant it will skip. Again, condition satisfied, skip. Again, condition satisfied, skip. Again, condition satisfied, skip. So this is the way how you can use the continue statement. Most, most important part with the help of continue, you can skip the current processing of the record and the loop will continue with the or loop will continue or loop will process the next record.